Throughout England, 10% of all children suffer from dyslexia, which averages at about three children in every classroom. Despite this, a shocking 52% of teachers across the country say that they have not received any training on dyslexia, with 74% of those who have been given training saying that they were not satisfied with the degree of their training. Surely this begs the question as to whether the education system is successfully helping those with dyslexia. When we question both sufferers and non-sufferers of dyslexia who aged from 10 to 70, 28% said that they did not believe that the education system successfully helps those with dyslexia, with 60% saying that they thought the education system sort of helps dyslexics. However, out of all the responses, only two people agreed that the education system was doing a good job at addressing the situation. To get a better understanding of how schools are actually coping with dyslexia, we spoke to those who have first-hand experience of the subject. When we asked people in our survey what they would like to see being changed in the education system to help cater for those with dyslexia, the most common answer was to have an earlier diagnosis of dyslexia in order to help them from a younger age. As a sufferer of dyslexia, 15-year-old Neve has experienced the education system's attempts to cope with dyslexia, which have had both positive and negative outcomes. I was diagnosed with dyslexia early on this year when my mum had me tested privately for dyslexia. Despite being in year 10, I was never picked up on being dyslexic until now, as I am considered to be quite academic, meaning the teachers had no reason to think I was anything other than lazy when it came to reading books. However, this was not the case. It was more because I couldn't read properly because my brain doesn't process the words correctly, meaning the words will move across the page and I have a very low reading speed, which puts me in the bottom 6% of the country. Despite there not being any procedures in place to pick me up as having dyslexia, my school is now very supportive and trying to help me in every way that they can, which I'm very grateful for. After speaking to Neve, we interviewed a primary school teacher to which we asked the same question as to whether she believed that the education system successfully helps those with dyslexia. In my experience, teachers are given hardly any training on dyslexia. Uh, from what I can remember when I was at college, we didn't actually receive any sessions uh, on dyslexia. And since being a teacher, we've only received training in the last few months. And that was only because one of the teachers at our school is really enthusiastic about dyslexia because her son's dyslexic. In fact, I don't think there's any courses offered by our local authority on dyslexia um, because they don't actually recognise it as a condition. Like our questionnaire participants, nine out of ten parents of children with dyslexia say that teachers lack the proper training needed to support their children. To explore this further, we interviewed Maria, who is not only a teacher who suffers from dyslexia, but also has a daughter who has extreme dyslexia to see what her views are on the matter. However, she did not wish to be filmed. I'm a teacher who has dyslexia, and my daughter has severe dyslexia also. And I think the education system is very inconsistent in its understanding of dyslexia particularly because it has such a wide um, scale of difficulties to do with dyslexia. People don't understand all the different difficulties. Um, I think people need to be more aware of the problems that go with dyslexia, not just to do with reading, because I think people just think it is to do with reading. It's not. There are difficulties with spelling, with writing, with light sensitivity, with visual distortion, with all sorts of short-term memory and organisational problems. And I think people need to be more aware. I think that there are so many children who suffer in varying degrees with dyslexia, that there should be a dyslexic specialist in each school, or at least over a couple of schools, to check that things are in place, like... Um, looking at coloured paper, looking at setting, looking at multi-sensory um, approaches to learning. For those schools who are coping with dyslexia sufficiently, there are people who are highly trained with helping those with dyslexia. Helena is one of these highly trained people who we question to see what her opinions are on the education system's handling of dyslexia. There are lots of legislation um, in place in order to protect children with dyslexia and help them. However, it's how 
um, well the schools, um, what they know about that legislation and how well they implement that. And it differs from school to school in different educational establishments. So what you're looking for is the fact that children with dyslexia, that um, reasonable adjustments are made in the classroom to address their needs. And it can be simple things like um, the fact that they don't have to write the title out, that they're not expected to write their spellings out, that they're given more time to answer things, that the paper that they're given is cream rather than white. Um, and schools may put those measures in place to help a child, um, regardless of whether they've got dyslexic spelling status or not. I think um, it's important for people, especially teachers and parents, to really understand what it's like to be dyslexic and the ongoing difficulties that a, dyslex a dyslexic child can have in school. Um, I think what would be really, I think people are quite misinformed even today about dyslexia and having an understanding of it. It still can be quite an old fashioned view of it just means they're not that bright. And I think it, it really, I think there needs to be a lot more to um, ways of accessing information and perhaps explain to the children in schools what dyslexia is so that understanding is extended across the board and to parents so parents can understand that it can hit all um, all kind of um, uh, levels of society, it can, ha it can hit all kind of intelligent groups. I think it's sometimes quite good for, for parents and, and children to know about how many successful dyslexics there are in this world who have managed to kind of overcome their needs and they are great actors or great entrepreneurs and to understand that dyslexia although it is a disability and it, although it can cause difficulty that it's just actually a different way of learning. As for the future of those who have dyslexia and those who are yet to be diagnosed it lies in the hands of those in Parliament. This is Megan Slater reporting for Borough TV.